Hi, I'm Evgeny Afinievsky and I'm an American filmmaker who was born in Russia and raised in Israel. And I'm Oscar nominee director for the movie Winter on Fire, Ukrainians fight for freedom. Every person in the world should watch this movie because this movie teaches us that unity can achieve bigger goals. Unity of people can uh, basically in this situation proved itself that people can change the future, people can uh, fight for the democracy and freedom, people can achieve these goals, this is what we can learn from this situation, that real patriotism is not about just being uh, born in the specific country, but real patriotism comes from your heart and soul. I think younger generation should take the role models of these young people who took their future in their hands and decided to do these changes. And they stood the ground despite the bullets, despite police batons, despite the cold weather or tear gas. They stood for what they believed, they gave their lives and they achieved the goal. Because for me, the first chapter of the Ukrainian fight for freedom was achieved. Maidan, for me, was the first chapter of fight for freedom. And they achieved it, but they achieved it because they were united. A lot of countries in the world can basically uh, relate to the events of Maidan. Tahrir Square in Egypt, Arab Spring, 2011, they can relate to that. Yemen events, uh, events in uh, some European countries. In every place in the world, people can find something in their history that will be relatable, relatable to this story. So it's important that this story basically mirrors some events to different generations, different uh, nationalities, different places in the world. So I think people can find a lot. This movie proves one thing. People are the real power and the governments are only representing the people. And governments can abuse the people's trust can do anything against people because they are just representations. People are the real power. Exactly what's happening in the United States because it's our First Amendment, we are the people. So at the end of the day, they proved that they as the people took their future in their hands and proved that they can change.